Welcome to East Turkestan TV News. East Turkestan government in exile urges Antony Blinken to take firm stance against China's genocide in East Turkestan. The Print News. Ahead of United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken's meeting with his Chinese counterpart and other senior Chinese officials on February 5 and 6, the East Turkestan government in exile has urged him to take a firm stance against China's ongoing genocide colonization, and occupation in East Turkestan. In a press release, the East Turkestan government in exile urged Blinken to call for the release of millions of imprisoned East Turkestanis, including intellectuals like Perhat Tursun. According to the press release, February 5 marks the 26th anniversary of the 1997 Gulja massacre in East Turkestan's Gulja city. The United States must recognize and condemn the 1997 Gulja massacre, East Turkestan government and exile Prime Minister Salih Hidayar said in the press release. We call on Secretary Blinken to use this opportunity to take a firm stance against China's ongoing genocide and colonization in East Turkestan, he added. In order to mark its 26th anniversary, the East Turkestan government in exile and the East Turkestan national movement will hold a demonstration outside the White House on February 5 to condemn the massacre and China's ongoing campaign of colonization, genocide, and occupation in East Turkestan, according to the press release. The demonstration is part of the large movement by the East Turkestani Uyghur diaspora in the United States to make their voices heard and make efforts to end China's colonization, genocide, and occupation of East Turkestan. The East Turkestan government in exile in the press release said that Uyghurs and other Turkic people in East Turkestan have suffered under China's rule since its invasion of East Turkestan in 1949. They have been kept in concentration camps, prisons, and labor camps. It claimed that forced sterilization and the forced marriage of Turkic women to Chinese men have caused a steep decline in Turkic population growth rates. The root cause of East Turkestan's ongoing genocide and suffering is Chinese occupation and colonization, the East Turkestan government and exile president Ulam Yagma said in the press release. We implore the international community to recognize that restoring the East Turkestan's independence is the only way to end China's ongoing genocide and ensure the survival of Uyghurs and other Turkic peoples in East Turkestan. Ulam Yagma added, El Taber from East Turkestan TV News supported.